Welcome back. It is the Flow Friday Sports Show here on Flow FM. We've spoken already about a bit of tennis in regards to the Owen Lawn Tennis Club, but it's time to go across the border now over to Southern Ports Tennis in South Australia. And we've got a brand new voice to bring us all the coverage of the competition. His name is Egan Regnia, and he plays for the Robe Roosters. Great to be with you, Egan. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you, Elf? Yeah, going well. Thanks, mate. Uh, good to have you on for your debut. Now, just before I ask you about all the games, you are new to the Friday Sports Show, so just tell us a little bit about yourself and your affinity with the Southern Ports Tennis Competition. Um, yeah, so lived in Rome my whole life. Um, I've been playing tennis since I was about 14, so yeah, 12 or 13 years I've been playing tennis. Um, and yeah, I love that afternoon in the court so it's good perfect well let's get into it why don't we start with your team there Egan Uh, now this game a pretty closely fought one you went down unfortunately for yourself to the Lucendale Cockadoos but they've been traveling pretty well the Lucendale side so far this year so give us a rundown of the game Um, yeah a bit disappointed to lose that one but um, it was Oh, we'll be iffy with the with the weather um, on the weekend. Heaps of rain was coming across, and um, every team was wondering if we'll get on or not. But we were lucky enough to be at loose now with um, using six courts and um, try to get through as quickly as we can. So, but we had a bit of drizzle during the day, which um, made it a bit tough. But um, yeah, everyone played in good spirits, which is good. So um, yeah, it was tight all day. We split the mix doubles and we also split all our singles so couldn't really pick a winner coming towards the end but um, the Cog 2s are a bit too strong in the men's and ladies doubles and um, produced a good there to get the win 13-10. Egan, can you just sort of describe what the weather conditions were like because we know in South Australia so much of the state copped that deluge on Saturday so did you manage to avoid that? Uh, yeah, well we in Loose it wasn't too bad. There wasn't any wind or anything. It was just um, we had a bit of drizzling rain for, I don't know, about an hour and we all came off the court and we were in discussion if we were going to keep going or not. But then it just stopped for, um, yeah, probably another two hours and we got on and we, yeah, we all said we'll try and go as quickly as we can. And, um, yeah, it, it started getting heavy rain about uh, 3.30, but we we were very close to the end of finishing. So we... Um, yeah, we got we got twenty three sets done. We got one set that just didn't finish due to a bit of heavy conditions, but there was also a result at the end of the day. So we just let them not have to um, get more wet, I guess. So um, yeah, we got a fair bit of rain in the end. Now, Panola, this side is going to struggle throughout the year, but uh, we have to wish them well. It is their first season of being in the competition, and we know it's a tough climate right now. But uh, they got a bit of a battering by Narra Court in the end. No one expected anything less, I gather, in the end, Egan. So tell us about this game. Um, yeah, we, we played Narra Court a couple weeks ago. Uh, sorry, we played Panola a couple weeks ago, and um, they had a completely different side um, on the weekend to what they had um, against us, and um, they were they were more com- they were well very very competitive against Narco. I think Narco are going to be good this year um, again. So um, yeah, uh, I looked at looked at the results and um, the mixed doubles were tight with three of them being four six. So you know, sort of they went the other way to Panola. They might have had a bit more confidence going in their singles, but um, yeah, Narco Narco are going to be a really good side this year. I feel and. Um, yeah, they got you know the the key players still that have been there around for the last couple of years, like the Moore Reeds and um, Caitlin Baker. That they just keep winning their sets, and um, yeah, they're doing very well. Now we've got an absolute dogfight between Beachport and the Lucendale Wombats. So, what exactly went on here? Um, yeah, so the Wombats they're, they're trouble late at the moment. They're doing they they must be loving having close games. They've won their last two weeks by. 12 sets all but on their game score so look like I might have gone back down to that again so um, yeah went, they went Wombats went down to Beachport and they got in 13 sets but um, the rain hit them but again it was um, tight mix with Beachport getting the lead in that and then there was there was tight tight um, singles as well but the rain uh, 
the rain stopped them again, a result, sadly. Tom Hanbury featuring in this one comes from a fairly famous tennis family out there, I'm assuming, Egan? Yes, he is very... You, If you realise you had to play him in a game of tennis, you, you'd think, oh, you'd have a, an easy day. But uh, he, he, for a very small kid, but he, he moves the court well and he's got... Um, great technique with all his hitting and um, I'm glad I've never had to play him yet and I hope I don't have to in the future because he will smash me. As they say, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog, that famous quote by Mark Twain. We'll move along to round five games, Egan. Now, tell us what we can anticipate from all the upcoming action this weekend. Um, yeah, well, there's four games in Loose Mail this week. Which um so the hill up at Loose Nail they'll be packed with heaps of tennis players which will be good um and then the other game is in Rove so Rove versus Panola and um Rove Rebels sorry versus Panola um that will be good I think the Rebels will go along with that one knowing um what side they'll bring in this weekend. And then, yeah, the four games that Luke and I are going to be very tight, I believe. Don't doubt it. Egan Regnier, great to have you on for your debut covering all things Southern Ports tennis. Before I let you go, I'm just going to throw one at you from left field. I'm sure you love your Australian Open action, mate. Novak Djokovic is coming back. You must be pleased to see the best of the best back gracing the Melbourne court after his hiatus last year. Uh, yes, it will be good for the Australian Open. I'm not a massive Novak Djokovic fan, to be honest, but, um, you know, everyone wants to see the best versus the best, and um, he's definitely up there. So it'll be good for Tennis Australia and um, the Aussie Open, and um, I hope he doesn't win it, but uh, he'll bring the crowds in, which will be good. Now, um, just weather-wise, mate, how are we sort of placed? Should we get action pretty comfortably occurring on Saturday? Uh, no, we've pretty much, of what I've seen in the forecast, it's going to be pretty much the same as last week. So it will be interesting. And, yeah, I don't know. We'll uh, try our best, but you just never know what the weather will do. It is a little bit touch and go. That's Egan Regnier, our new Southern Ports Tennis Association correspondent, joining us on the Flow Friday Sports Show for his debut. Nice work, Egan. We'll speak to you next week. Good luck on the weekend. Hope there's action and hope it goes well for you. No worries. Thank you for having me.